Hello and welcome to this presentation of Excel to Sage. My name is Aura Marjorosian and I'll show you how easy it is to import a purchase invoice batch into Sage 50 using Excel to Sage with just one click. So how could you use this import? Well you could use it to import invoices from other systems. So for example from your website or your EPOS system. Or you could use it for your employee expenses. That's a very popular use of this particular import because you have the ability to, to change the lookup tables that the nominal codes are in and only show the appropriate ones and the appropriate descriptions for employee expenses. So let's see how easy it is to do this. I'll say Sage and as you can see I have two suppliers Red IT3 and Red IT4 that don't have a balance on them at the moment. First thing I need to do is launch Excel to Sage and that will open up the program. Next I'll connect to Sage to activate the relevant imports. As you can see there's one here for purchase invoices. So I'll clone that and what that will do is it will take the information in my Excel workbook and then import it into Sage 50 with full validation. Having done that, it will then come back and tell us that it's finished uploading the purchase invoices to Sage. And there it is. So what I'll do is I'll disconnect and exit from the program and I'll just click on balance to refresh the balances and there we are. Now if I go back to the Excel workbook I will see that there's a two line invoice for Red IT3 and a single line invoice for Red IT4 and as you can see on here I've also got the ability to have the lookups for the tax code for the supplier and for the nominal code so you can make sure that only valid data is being imported so back to Sage I go go to Red IT3, look at the activity and there is invoice 1 with two lines on it. If I now go to Red IT4 there's a single line invoice. It's that easy. So in summary Excel to Sage is very easy to use. It's very quick and cost effective. You can create the Excel files anywhere. So that works very well for employee expense claims, which can then be emailed to the accounts department for validation and import. You can set up your own user defined validation lists. So you can then cut down the number of nominal codes that could be used at any point in time. And I hope that you found that presentation of interest. Thank you for your time and please feel free to download our free trial now and test it for yourself. You'll be glad that you did. Thank you.